Hey guys, uh, Ryan Brownlee here, head baseball coach at Western Illinois University and here with Figure It Out Baseball. Uh, we're about to go over our positional throwing program that we do with our infielders. This is after we've gone through a full dynamic warm-up. Uh, our guys have gone through J-bands and our guys have gone through some sort of plyo throws for decelerators. So our position players usually just do the reverse throws. Uh, pivot picks and then pie in the sky. Those are the three that our position players usually do besides You know five to eight of the J band circuit um, again We're not trying to completely crush the rotator cuff before we get going, but we do want to make sure that we're loose uh, Especially for you young kids out there Make sure we don't just get out of the car and come and pick a ball up You're you, one you're gonna get into terrible habits as you get older doesn't matter as an eight-year-old because your muscles aren't developed yet, but you want to get into those good habits of stretching and getting hot and loose before you start playing catch. And then hopefully that carries over into your older, as you're older. If you do that, you're going to have a lot of benefit with your arm. Uh, you're going to stay away from a lot of general soreness and your arm strength is going to improve. Um, so just so you understand the timeline for us, we're big long toss here. We're long toss for everybody, so it doesn't matter if you're a pitcher, catcher, outfield, infielder. Uh, we long toss here, and just so you understand what our progression is, if you're a young kid that's under trying to understand what my 100% long toss is, 100% of your long toss is wherever you get out to where the ball's going to skip. Okay, so as you're loose and you chuck a ball and it lands, that's 100% of your long toss. So the first day of the week, so when we usually practice on Tuesdays, we take Mondays off, Tuesday is a 50% long toss day. Okay, so we're gonna go half our max. Wednesday is usually a 70% long toss, so we're gonna go 70% of our max. And then the third day of the week, we're gonna go 90% of our max. And I'll explain that when we get out to 90%. And then the fourth day of the week, we go back to 50%. Okay, and then 70% and then 90. So really two days of the week, of the six days that they throw, they're getting out fairly far. Okay, and so hopefully over time, as we use those progressions, their long toss gets out further and further, okay, and it, without completely crushing their arm. Okay, we do, we would throw seven days a week if we could, but the NCAA makes us take a day off. So after we've warmed up properly, then we'll get in here with the first part of it. I like wrist flips with the glove to our chest. Okay, the reason we do this is because at some point we're gonna have to be in a rundown situation where our glove's gonna have to get to our chest. So I know some, some guys like this part of it. I changed this about four years ago because it made more sense because this is the position that we get into in rundowns. So when we do this, we're here, obviously proper grip, and we're just trying to drive our fingers to our target. Our receive is a deflect. Again, the throwing is important, but the receiving part is important as well, okay? You have a lot of reps to work on deflecting the ball in your throwing hand and getting your four-seam grip, okay? So we're just going to be here, and we're trying to see how tight we can get the ball to spin and trying to see how we can deflect the ball into our throwing hand because, again, this saves us time, okay? And we don't care if we miss the ball here. We're trying to work quick at a higher pace, so then hopefully the game is slower. From there we'll back up, but we'll stay on two knees. I really like staying on two knees so guys can focus on their upper body mechanics first. Okay, so same thing on the receive. However guys throw, we're gonna start with our hands together by our belly button. And our this is our most comfortable position, relaxed elbows, hands by our belly button. So we want to try to start from there. As we get out and get loose, we'll start throwing from some different angles. And we're trying to throw through something. I think this is what gets lost in the shuffle with young guys especially, is they just try to get the ball to their target so they decelerate their arm action. Where if we can focus on, and I, with, with Coach Galvan here, it might be something small in his glove, it might be his W, where I'm actually just focusing on driving my fingers through him to get the ball to have a little bit of carry on it. Okay, because where we get lazy and start to decel, that's where we're gonna get into some release point issues. And again, we wanna be aggressive with our release point. And this is also why you wanna warm up properly so we're loose. 
okay? We're gonna get into bad habits with our arm action, with our release point if we're not hot, and then we just try to come out and play catch because that's where we're gonna be a little bit sore. We wanna try to be as loose as we can so we can really get through our release point before when we start throwing, okay? Next thing that we'll do is we'll stand up and we'll go 10 toes towards our partner. All right, 10 toes towards our partner, where we're gonna stop here. Yeah, we're trying to keep away from wrapping here as an, a position player. Okay, so we're gonna actually turn, make sure our front side's at our target, and throw. Guy receiving, and our catchers do this as well. Guys receiving, okay, here's a change of direction pivot. Okay, so this is like a second baseman being at second base here where we're working on change the direction pivot. So we're gonna get here, and then on the receive, I'm gonna give him a good target. And in a perfect world with my pivots, I want my feet moving before I catch. If it's a good throw, I'm gonna take my throwing side foot to wherever the baseball is. If it's a bad throw, then I'm just gonna try to catch. Okay, but if it's a good throw, then I'm gonna get my footwork going to wherever the baseball is. And this keeps it simple. I'm using my throwing side foot to step to wherever the baseball is because now I'm gonna be able to catch everything in the center of my body. Again, if this is my most relaxed position and most comfortable position to throw from, I wanna adjust with my feet to make sure that I'm catching in the center of my body. After we get through that, then we're gonna to go to power position. If you're wondering what your power position is, you need to get into fielding position and step through to your power position. Most guys don't get wide enough in this, okay? So this is why we have them do this. So they're gonna step through. And again, for most guys, it's wider than their shoulders. This gets me into a good athletic base with my lower half, okay? And we're gonna be here again, comfortable where I'm rocking back into my backside. And then I'm gonna follow it if you want, or you can stay. Guy receiving, now it's the outside drag with the short stop. Okay, where now our glove side foot is going to the baseball. And again, wherever the ball is, my glove side foot's gonna reach for the ball rather than reach with my glove and then set my feet. So the ball may be over here. I'm gonna reach and cut the distance down with my glove side foot. And I'm gonna give my partner a good target with thumbs together. And again, we're really just trying to deflect and get the ball into our throwing hand. One good key here for infielders on their pivot is to keep ball above transfer. Okay, so I don't care if we're second baseman, third baseman, shortstop, if we're trying to get rid of the baseball, we need to keep the ball above wherever we catch it. Okay, so it may be down here, I'm bringing it up. It might be up here, I'm bringing it up. So I'm trying to keep ball above transfer wherever I receive the ball from. After that, then we'll get into down in fielding position. Guy receiving is a relay receive. Okay, so if they're a corner infielder, majority of the time they're gonna work on going to get the ball because on relays, they're gonna be close to their target. So the quicker they go get it, the quicker they can get rid of it. If they're a middle infielder, they're gonna actually work on giving because their relays are gonna be out in the middle of the field with a longer throw where they actually have to work and get some momentum on their throw. Okay, so down in fielding position, Again, wider than shoulders, flat back. Now we're pinky to pinky, above the waist, thumb to thumb. We're on the ground, pinky to pinky. And we're really just focusing on taking our throwing side foot to our target. Okay, we wanna square our inside up of our, our ankle and work to our target. Guy receiving, we're gonna chest up on a relay receive. So again, I may have to reach with my feet. Where guys get into problems with the relay receive is they wanna turn early. So if it's over here, then I have to adjust. So I want to stay square. Ryan Brownlee here, uh, Western Illinois University head baseball coach. Uh, here again with Figured Out Baseball.